Ask Reddit by Kotec 888. What instantly ruins a hamburger for you? More of a meatball than a patty. I see you've had my dad's balgas. Assuming everything is fresh and nothing is spoiled. A cold patty. Towering height. Sogginess. This person burgers. Abnormal height of burger. That shit is for looking, not eating. Big burgers should be wide not tall. When I go to take a big old bite and the whole thing just ejects out the back. Some restaurants with tall burgers put a pick in the middle to maintain shape. Many people remove the stick before eating the burger, I tend to eat around the stick to stop patty escape. Soggy bun. Absolutely awful when the bun loses all structure halfway through and your hamburger disintegrates in your hands and you're left with a pile of slob. So gross. When you're chewing, and the meat has a hard bit in it, like a piece of bone or something. Edit, wow, thanks for the awards. There's nothing worse than finding a hard thing in soft food, or a soft thing in hard food. A surprisingly agile dog. I had a chihuahua once who did some Metal Gear Solid shit and literally got up on the table and made off with an 8 ounce New York strip without anyone noticing. Until we sat down to eat and 6 people were looking at 5 steaks like did we really do this and then my dad was like hey where's the dog lol. Gristle. Or a little bone chip in the meat. Instant gag. I have a weird thing about unexpected textures in my food throws the whole dish off. Those stupid TikTok cheese sauces. I was gonna say excessive cheese. The amount of times I've seen a gallon of melted cheese explode out poured over is just... Some cheese is fine. It's the excess that's not needed or wanted. The price for a fucking sandwich that until recently was one of the cheapest things to eat. I recently saw a headline that Burger King is trying to get people to eat the Whopper again. How about not making it $8? I'm not saying it has to be 99c like it was from time to time when I was a kid, but $4.5 would get me to go more often. Bun breaking apart for me is one. I'll say this now. The height of burgers are a joke. I'd rather a regular burger height and the circumference of the burger being bigger. The bun to burger ratio is important. I also prefer thin patties better than one thick patty and much better than two big ones. I like the toughness of the burger rather than it feel soft to the bite. I've had some expensive burgers that have not been as good as cheap made van burgers purely because they were soft and mushy rather than tougher texture. Make them wider. Not higher. Burger King takes the W again. Deleted. The bun to burger ratio. It's got to match. If that burger is too small or the bun is too small, it just destroys the experience. My mom used to make what we called blood burgers when we were kids. She'd make patties and broil them so hot it was like she was trying to kill the cow second time. You wound up with a blackened ball about the size of a silver dollar that would bleed when you took a bite. We'd put three on a bun just to fill up the empty space. Any of these, order isn't important. 1. Overcooked meat. 2. Vegetables so wet that bread looks like a sponge. 3. Excessive amount of sauce. This describes Whataburger burgers perfectly lol. When the patty slips out the other side. Fat ass tomatoes. This. I love tomatoes. But I loathe lazy food preparers who slice them into massive slabs. Get a decent knife. Same goes for massive chunks of tomato in a salad. Poor construction. When the patty flies out the other side. Stick everything together with blobs of sauce. Too much sauce is what lubes it up and launches the patty out the far side good texture vegetables and a firm grip. 
I find sliced onions on the bottom and strips of bell peppers are the best grippy veg for the purpose. Stale bun. When you bite into it and chew on something hard that's def not supposed to be there. When the cold condiments are hot, pickles, lettuce, etc. Time for a return of the MCDLT. Miracle Whip. Or sweet pickles. Sweet anything, really. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? Hair. A hair in my burger shuts down my appetite. Seeing a piece of hair on it. Even worse, not seeing the hair on it and pulling a foot long hair out of your full of burger mouth. When eating it like a normal burger defies the laws of physics. Stack to the ceiling and dripping in stuff. Fuck off. Miracle Whip. I've somehow made it to my 30s without ever trying Miracle Whip. My wife wanting a bite. She ruins the entire structural integrity of it. When I pick up a burger, I do not put it down until it's done because maintaining the structural integrity of the burger is key. Putting it down and picking it back up once it's been weakened by biting into it is too much of a risk. Chunk of bone. I know I'm in the 1% here because a lot of people think I'm crazy, but I can't stand pickles on burgers. Not a fan of pickles in general really. Especially when I specifically said no pickles, please. Having nails in it. Clearly you've never had the broken glass supreme. 